Hello and a huge thank you for volunteering your time to making a difference within your local community. The purpose of this short video is to provide you with an awareness of your responsibilities as a volunteer in relation to safeguarding. Put simply, safeguarding describes the protecting of children and adults at risk from abuse or neglect. There are several different types of abuse which include physical, emotional, sexual, financial, domestic, organisational, discriminatory and modern slavery. Safeguarding is everyone's responsibility and so as staff and volunteers we all have a duty of care within our roles to protect those children and adults at risk who fall under our services. Your role is not to investigate or inquire about any safeguarding concerns. These are the responsibilities of trained safeguarding professionals. As a volunteer, all we ask is that if you see something, you say something. Be aware in your role and be curious about what's going on around you and in the interactions you have with those you support. As an example, you may notice that the elderly gentleman with dementia you take to a weekly singing group seems to be short of money when he never used to be. Or at the football sessions you coach at a child has become much more quieter and withdrawn and now wears tracksuits covering her whole body rather than wearing shorts and t-shirts like she used to. If you notice any changes in behaviour like this that concern you or if there is something that does, doesn't feel quite right then you should report it to your main point of contact. Your main point of contact will then be able to address your concerns and escalate these as appropriate and in accordance with your organisation's safeguarding framework. If you don't feel comfortable reporting a concern to your usual point of contact then you should speak to another member of the team or to your organisation's dedicated safeguarding lead. Of course, if somebody is in immediate danger then your first response should always be to call the emergency services. Afterwards, you should then inform your main point of contact about what has happened and take any further direction from them. We also want to make sure that you are kept safe in your role as a volunteer and so in the unlikely event that you were to personally experience any distress, offence or abuse during the course of your volunteering, please do tell your main point of contact so that this can be addressed appropriately. The key message to take away from this video is that whatever our role, we all have a responsibility to protect the mosque at risk living in our communities through safeguarding. Please speak to your main point of contact if you are worried about anything that you have seen or heard whilst volunteering. If you see something, say something.